friends. Today, we are going to learn more about subtraction strategies. When we describe subtraction, we take away one or more numbers. This is also used to find the difference between two numbers. For example, Cody had 10 balloons and three of them popped. Our equation would be 10 take away three. I see that we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven balloons left. So that is the answer. I wonder if I can use a number line to help me subtract. Let's try it. I see the equation 53 take away 32. When subtracting on a number line, we always start on the right side. Let's start at 52 and count backwards by tens. 53 take away 10 is 43. 43 take away 10 is 33. 33 take away 10 is 23. Now let's hop back two more. One, two. We end up on 21. Another helpful tool is using a hundreds chart. Let's try subtracting 68 take away 34. First, let's locate the number 68. Here it is. I know when I subtract, I am taking away, which means my number will get smaller. We will start at 68 and hop up three times. Each time we move up, the number gets smaller by 10. 10, 20, 30. Great! Since we had to subtract the number 34, let's move backwards four more places to find our answer. One, two, three, four. I see our answer is 34. When I subtract two digit numbers, I like to think about tens and ones. I see the equation 45 take away 12. Let's break apart 45. I know it has four tens and five ones. Now, let's subtract 12 by crossing out some of these blocks. I know 12 is made up of one 10 and two ones, so I will cross those out to find the difference. Let's count the blocks. I see 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. The answer is 33. Can you help me solve a subtraction word problem? Kelly had $37 in her piggy bank. She spent $16 on a new teddy bear. How much money does she have left? Our equation would be 37 take away 16. What do you think we should do first? That's right, we need to break apart 37 into tens and ones. 37 is made up of three tens and seven ones. What do we do next? Oh, that's right, we need to cross out 16 blocks. The number 16 is made up of one ten and six ones. Let's cross those out to find the difference. I see 10, 20, 21 left. The answer is $21. Using tens and ones is very helpful when a subtraction problem is set up in a standard algorithm. It doesn't matter if an equation is written like this or this. They both mean the same thing. Let's solve the problem together. 57 take away 25. First, let's picture how many tens and ones are in the number 57. I know it is made up of five tens and seven ones. This standard algorithm also shows tens and ones. The next step is to cross out 25, since we are taking away that many. When I look at this problem, I think of it as if it was in a place value chart. First, we will subtract the ones. It is very important to remember we always start on the right side where the ones are. 7 take away 5 is 2, just like we crossed out here. Now, let's move to the tens place. 5 tens take away 2 tens is 3 tens. Our answer is 32. Remember, 
There are many strategies to help you solve subtraction problems. Number lines, hundreds charts, and using place value are wonderful tools that will lead you down the road of success. Thanks for stopping by to grow as a learner. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.